So look, I wanted something to serve for uh, Sunday football. I've got a couple people coming over and we are gonna do up some smoked sausage, onions and peppers. It is gonna be through the roof. It is gonna be some smoked sausage, sweet Italian. And of course, I will get some good smoke rolling on those onions and peppers with a little bit of garlic. We will put it all together and it is gonna be a smoked sausage feast. That's for sure. All righty, guys, look, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So look, I've got a couple people coming over to the house to watch some Sunday football, and I wanted something that is gonna be simple yet tasty and smoked sausage sandwiches definitely fit that bill. Let's turn our attention down here to the board. Let me show you what I'm working with and then we will get on over to my Z-Grill 700 series. I've already got it loaded down with some competition blend pellets. After all that, we will put this together. I will bring you guys back and we will get it on the pit. Alrighty, and here you go. And this definitely aims to be a fun one. My advice here is to spend a little bit of money and get a little bit better of a quality of a sweet or hot sausage. All right, I'm gonna go with your basic onion and pepper slice, three colors of pepper. We will get everything out on trays. Any type of tray will do. You want that smoke to come up underneath and all around the uh, sausage, peppers, onions, and garlic. Yeah. Now I should hit it with a little bit of olive oil before putting it on the uh, on the racks and trays. No big deal. I'll just add it in, and then I'll hit it with that salt and uh, salt and pepper, and that oil will help everything stick. I mean, if you haven't tried smoking your sausage for uh, sausages, peppers, and onion sandwiches, you definitely owe it to yourself to give it a go, as it does add a, a whole other level of flavor. So in the pit we go, 250. We are gonna run this for about, a, probably about an hour or so and hope to get up into that 130, 140 range. And then we will finish it off with some high temp searing. Alrighty, so look, man, we are an hour down into the cook. I've got my handy chef temps all ready to go. We should be good on the uh, sausage, or we should be damn close, probably in that 140 to 150 range. That is gonna be perfect, because I am gonna bump up my Z to that 350, 450, 500, you know the deal, because we wanna get some color on this before we get it on the board and plate it up. And this cook moves right along, and you can see we got a, uh, we got a pretty decent color on that. Uh, on that sausage, we are looking at about 135, 132 or so. That is gonna be good enough. We will get everything off and get it on the board. We are showing about 132. That is gonna be good enough. Let's get the pit fired up. Let's get everything off here on the board. Once the pit hits temp, we will get it back on. And like I said, we will get some good color. Alrighty, so look, man, about 10 minutes, the Z-Grill has reached that temp of about 400. That is good enough to get us started. As it was coming up to temp, I did get the, uh, get the peppers and onions with the garlic, and I put them in a, uh, a, a safe plate that is going to go back on the pit just to kind of heat up and stay warm. Other than that, man, it is, uh, it is all looking good. Let's get on over to the pit. Let's get our uh, sausages on. Let's get some good color on them. And after all that quickies, we will slice open the bread and make us up some sandwiches. Come on. And this is where the whole cook takes off and you start to have a little bit of fun. You are only looking at about 10 minutes or so on the grill. Once that grill gets heated up and those cases start to explode, it is going to be a uh, it is going to be a bunch of smoky goodness for sure. As we were waiting for that, I did get a little bit of butter and put it in with the uh, 
with the onions and peppers, put that back on the grill, and I also butter spread some of the uh, some of the bread. Hey man, sausage, peppers, and onions, you gotta have a little bit of butter spread on the, uh, on the bread. We should just be about done. Let's go in, let's check it out. If everything checks good temperature wise, we will get it off and get it on the board. And that was certainly uh, certainly pretty quick. We will get everything uh, everything mixed up as we check the uh, check the temperature. We are up over 200. We are good on the uh, on the sausage. We will get everything mixed up. Get it all in that bowl. Let those juices just kind of drip in with the uh, with the peppers and onions. We will get it all off. We will get it on the board. No reason really to let it rest. So we will jump right in to make us up some sandwiches. And that does look incredible. Yeah. Oh man, that is smoky good right there. I guarantee it. Alrighty, so look, as this is resting, it doesn't take long. We can just go ahead and build us up some sandwiches. I mean, I am from the Jersey Boardwalk, so I definitely know a thing or two about sausage sandwiches. And I can tell you this one here definitely looks killer. All right, look, what I want to do here is I'm going to cut them up, get a couple snaps, and I'll bring you guys back. We will get that taste test and finish up the show. to look at is that and I am hoping the camera can pick up my uh, little bit of a smoke ring on these sausages. I mean come on that looks absolutely incredible and look I am this is a dry run so when I do this I am going to cut these up into fours toothpick them and they are just grab and go sausage sandwiches. I'll have a little bit of sauce on there, a little bit of dips on there. What I want to do now is let's go in for that taste test and talk about it. Alrighty guys, look, I got to tell you, uh, first off, the um, the sausages have a nice snap to them. The, uh, the casing has a nice snap. I definitely like that. They are juicy, which means basically the uh, juice has stayed inside the, uh, inside the casing along with that butter spread that I put on the, uh, on the bread. Makes it all just very juicy. I mean, this is very New Jersey boardwalk-y, except that it is a little bit smoky. It definitely has all those notes of all that flavors of a uh, of a boardwalk sausage sandwich, which is exactly what I was going for. Again, except you add the smoke in and you are through the roof with flavor. I mean, this is a home run. There is no doubt about it. Sunday football, uh, the, the Saturday games, it is all good. Like I said, four them out, toothpick them, grab them and go. That is what it is all about. So look, that is it for this one. Don't forget Z Grills will have this recipe all blogged out. I will have information down in the description. Otherwise, you can go right to the Z Grills websites and all the recipes that I've done for Z Grills and all the other recipes that other people have done are all right there. That is definitely worth checking out. Again, information on all that stuff is down below. Guys, don't forget my Patreons and my YouTube join people. That is one way to help out the show. I appreciate all those guys. I appreciate all you guys for watching. And until next time, we will see you soon. Yeah.